Now, I know that the popular opinion will be to say no to this, but hear me out as to reasons why you may want to go ahead and actually summon on this banner for Dragon Ball Fusions. It's only on JP right now. I always get questions about, is this coming to global? Guys, I think we got spoiled from the anniversary or whatever just now where, you know, go Global and JP got the same stuff at the same time. I'm not going to deny that it may happen again in the future, but it's not going to be every new banner that drops. Most stuff is going to come to JP first, unless Global gets something exclusive like the Kaioken Goku banner, SSJ Kaioken, uh, that just simply doesn't come to JP or JP may get later on in the future. We don't know, but most of this stuff is coming over here for the newer, interesting stuff that you don't know about, right? Because Ultimate Gohan is going to be a thing, STR Ultimate Gohan next month. That's not coming to Global most likely at the same time. Global's instead getting some of the older stuff JP already got because Global hasn't got that content yet. So Cooler is coming out. Uh, the physical type specific banner is coming out. So that type of stuff. So let's talk about this banner. And as always with these videos, they are my like way of giving you guys insight because the reason I started doing these is because I always get questions. Hey, is this banner worth the stones? Right? And I try to be... Uh, as as forthcoming with you guys as possible, as open with you guys as possible, and explaining how something may or may not be a good banner to summon on. So simple answer, like I said in the beginning of the video, once again, popular opinion would be no for various reasons. Maybe you think that the banner is a joke, you don't like any of the units, which is fair. Um, it's not a banner to be taken seriously anyway. It's definitely a filler banner, right? That's what all this is, is a filler banner. Um, or maybe you're waiting for Ultimate Gohan because you're a free-to-play player and you're saving your stones, whatever, right? But if you do have extra stones, it is definitely worth it. I think that actually, in fact, every multi is guaranteed SSR. Um, they did that with the Kale banner where every multi you did was guaranteed SSR. Albeit, I think that it's only for the featured units. Now, this banner's featured unit cast is all of the Dragon Ball Fusions units. We're going to go over them and basically whether or not it's something you should invest in. So the new units, right? Celza or Saliza, whatever, how you pronounce it. I, I haven't played that game in a while. And he's like the final boss or one of the final bosses in the game. Um, but... Him and Weiris, and of course, this time around, Barlot or Baroto, he is actually able to awaken, whereas the last couple times, he wasn't. Now, Fura or Kuliza, whatever they call him, on global, and Janembu on the back still cannot awaken yet, so maybe that's basically foreshadowing that we'll get this banner again, so keep that in mind. They, I don't think they would just simply not awaken two of the units. Well, oh, and then the new two, right? But, like, you know, of the original six Everybody else is awakenable except for those two in the back, the far back. And they're actually pretty solid, to be honest. But the main prize from this banner, I was originally going to say, is Pandel. Because to this day, Pandel is phenomenal on two teams, Super Intelligence and on the uh, and on the, um, the Fusion category team. She's amazing support on those teams. Like She adds so much damage overall to to your turns rotation of your three units on the board at that one time, even though she only hits for like 100,000 damage, your other two guys with her hit significantly harder due to her attack increased passive. Gives them 30% up. No defense, no key, but it's fine. She's great. She was originally the best unit on this banner. It's funny how times change because way back, she was crap. <laughs> best units on the banner were Karoli and Brapan by far. And then LR Frieza drops, and it's like, oh, Fura is now the best banner, the best one on this banner. Fura or Kuliza, the cooler Frieza fusion, because she shares most links with LR Frieza. And nowadays, Pandel is up there. And the best unit on the banner is Weiris. Upon first looking at Weiris, he doesn't seem so good. He changes two orb colors to physical. I think they're intelligence and tech orbs, something like that. He's not so good in that regard, but he changes two colors. First unit in the game to change two colors to another color. He makes them physical. So that's great if you're like trying to nuke with something, which I'll get back to in a minute. And secondly, he's good, or, or subpar, because he has 50% attack and defense. It's not his job. It would be so much better, though, if he was a support unit, though, gave the allies like 25% attack and defense. I'm going to say that now. He's super physical unit. He has fused fighter and shocking speed and the innocence, which are all usable links on a super physical team, especially if you have LR Trunks. This guy basically makes LR Trunks auto 24 key, going to generate so many physical orbs for LR Trunks that he's going to get that almost all the time, whereas if you've seen videos on that team pre weirus it's kind of hard to get LR Trunks to 18 key. Like, you actually have to really 
manage it to get anything other than that little finish buster attack that he does or whatever it's called the burning attack uh and actually get the one where he slashes in it's kind of hard to do that with that guy because he has a good link set but the rest of the team doesn't really cater too much to him like he shares one link with go tanks ss3 then two links with vegeto blue it's kind of absurd right so this guy is basically good for that and apparently this is the funny part apparently today we did calculations over on the reddit the dokkan reddit Weirus is optimal, basically, on super intelligence. Yes, the team with Gogeta, intelligence, LR Gohan, because this guy, along with Trunks, changes majority of the, the board to physical orbs. And Gohan is such an incredible unit that he gets that boost, I think it's 18%, uh, for every orb color. He doesn't need intelligence-based orbs. Like, for example, L the, uh, not LR Trunks, the Rage Trunks on Gohan's team, the intelligence one, he only gets 15% per intelligence orb. Gohan gets the boost for every orb. So this guy literally is adding, like, 300,000 more damage to the turns or something like that. I may be highballing, but it's absurd how good Weirus is on an intelligence team as a physical unit. <laughs> So, Weirus is actually incredible. So, keep in mind that per multi, you're going to get one of these guys guaranteed. It's going to be the very last unit in your pull. Uh, they're the only SSRs in the banner, so you are guaranteed one of them if you ever get like a Shenron animation or seven pods or base form by guys, whatever, right? You're guaranteed one of these guys. Uh, Coroli's Awakening is pretty solid. Nothing to write home about. Uh, he's definitely solid, though. That's as far as I'm going to go. Fura is pretty cool. Chow Man at the bottom was one of the best AoEs in the game, like, before the meta changed to nuking the World Tournament. So there's that. Janembu really needs an Awakening. He really needs one. He's not bad, but he's definitely not as good as he once was. He's outdated at this point. Uh, the Cell Freeze of Fusion is, is pretty good. Weirus is definitely superior. That one heals and does damage. And, you know, he, he's all around Jack of All Trades unit. Uh, heals, has a nice link set, but struggles to fit on Extreme Intelligence because that team doesn't really have a slot for him. Broadpan is a key support. She has the Fusion category, but that team links already way too good. And the problem with Broadpan is she's only key support. She doesn't offer attack and defense, so she's not good anymore. She's just simply not good anymore unless you have, like, LR Majin Vegeta as your lead and you need the key support. Maybe you don't have Rosé. She's just simply not good anymore because she does supreme damage, gets no attack improvement, no defensive improvement, not to herself or to her allies. She's a filler unit, and that's it at best. And Baroda's Awakening allows him to get 15,000 or 15% more uh, attack per orb and 10% more defense per orb. Uh, Supreme Damage Modifier, no Fierce Battle, still the Rebirth Link, so that does hamper his damage output. He does not have the best Link sets, uh, the Barlat Baroto guy, but either way, Sleeper Unit for Super STR, 120% STR, Goku SS4 lead, or for this team here, uh, Fusion Category team. So keep that in mind. The banner is not all bad. It is definitely a filler banner. Once again, it's worth pulling on one or two times to try to get Weirus or Pandel or both because they're both great units. Um, everybody else is kind of passable, though. So, anyways, have an awesome day. Thank you for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.